welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to making a simple video on how to cut shirt dress now this is one of the most required video here on this channel and i feel so happy to make this video today if you have any topic you want us to talk about feel free to drop it in the comment section any topic you would like a video on right so we're going to be looking at shirt dress in today's um class how to cut a shirt dress now a shirt dress is basically a dress in form of a shirt and actually people actually love this form of dress right so what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist hip and our gown length of course in a shirt dress we usually have color in a shirt dress so you're going to be asking how are we going to get the color you are going to achieve that in the course of this video while we are sewing that is the right time in order for you to know how many inches is required for your color so now we'll go ahead and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurement is 14 inches 14 divided by 2 we have 7 plus 1 inch for my joining allowance because it's going to have a sleeve we have 8 inches our bust is 36 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 our waist is 28 28 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 our hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches our gown length is 35 so we are going to go ahead and add our hemming allowance to our gown length so we have 35 plus 2 inches we have 37 inches so these are the basic measurements required now if you want your shirt dress to have a sleeve go ahead and add your sleeve length which is 12 inches if you want yours to have a sleeve because basically for shirt dress it usually have like a short sleeve right so our sleeve length is 12 inches so i will go ahead and add 2 inches for our folding allowance we have 14 inches our round sleeve is 12 inches so you divide your round sleeve by 2 so we have 12 divided by 2 we have 6 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 8 inches so it simply means that for our round sleeve we have 8 inches and for our sleeve length we have 14 inches it simply means that for our round sleeve we have 8 inches and for our sleeve length we have 14 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve a shirt dress and of course we are going to be drafting our pattern first before you add up to the before we move straight to the fabric right and with me here i have our pattern paper now our pattern paper is actually very long it's about 60 inches long and it comes both in brown color and in white color also right so we have the white pattern paper and the brown pattern paper and they are both available at our store so feel free to visit us on our facebook page to designs i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut your shirt dress right so what are the basic measurements required we have a shoulder to bust nine and a half Shoulder to arm o nine inches, shoulder to under bust thirteen and a half, shoulder to waist seventeen and a half, waist to hip eight inches, and for our gown length, this is what we have. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines together. Back block first before we cut out the front block. And so for the back block, we'll go ahead and mark our dart measurement, which is 4 inches. On our waistline, we'll also mark 4 inches. We'll go ahead and connect these lines together. On our waistline, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. 
we'll connect this together and we are cutting the back block now you will discover that for this back let me extend the four inches line on this back block we don't have any zip allowance on the back block because for shirt dress we usually have like a button in front so we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements which is eight inches we'll mark our bust measurements which is 10.5 mark our waist measurements which is 9.5 mark our hip measurements which is 11 inches right now we'll go ahead and connect these lines together because this is usually this is a shirt dress we are not going to have it fitted okay we're not going to have it fitted around the hip area so this is where we have our hip measurements which is 11 inches so go ahead and so this is where we have our hip measurement so go ahead and add like the number of inches you add from your hip measurement determines how free you want your shirt dress to be okay so you can go ahead and add three inches four inches five inches it depends on how you want to have this a-shape effect so i'll go ahead and add about four inches so this becomes our new hip measurement so i'll go ahead and connect this to this point I'll go ahead and connect this all the way down so you can see the shape and how we got this effect that is we're going to have like the freeness around the hip area right now I'll go ahead with my arm o curve and connect my bust to my arm o now for the neckline because this is the back block i'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness and for the deepness i'm going to make use of one inches now for the back block it is usually not deep because you have the deepness in the front area already so for the back block the deepness is usually half inch or one inch so we go ahead and mark our shoulder slope we'll connect this together so this is basically what we are going to have for the back block so we go ahead and cut this out block this is what we are going to have you can see that a shape effect and this is for the back block now for our front block for our front block this is where we have like the button effect go ahead and mark four inches so i'll mark four inches four inches four inches i will go ahead and connect this all the way this is what we are going to have so we'll go ahead and mark our basic measurements which is shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to arm o nine inches shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 and a half waist to hip we have eight inches i will go ahead and connect all the lines together to have i will go ahead and mark my dart measurement starting from these four inches we left for our button i'll mark four inches i will go ahead and connect the lines together now on the waistline we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements but we are starting from this four inches and our shoulder measurement is eight inches so you start from this four inches and then you go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement which is eight inches you mark your bust measurement which is 10.5 but note that we are starting from this line we we'll go ahead and mark our waist which is 9.5 and for our hip measurements we have 11 inches right we'll go ahead and connect this together 
now when we we're cutting the back block for our hip measurements we went ahead to add about four inches so that we can have this a shape effect so you also go ahead and add that four inches or so note that it depends on how free you want it to be so you can add five inches three inches six inches it depends on what you want to achieve so i'll go ahead and connect this together and i'll connect this all the way down so this is what we are going to have now i'll go in with my arm o curve and connect my bust line to my shoulder line this is what we have so for the neckline we'll go ahead and mark three inches for the wideness of our neckline and note that we are starting from this point so we go ahead and mark our three inches now this is our three inches so for your neckline it depends on how you want it to be and because you are going to have like a color effect it's usually not deep it's not like your regular dress where you have like a deep neckline but because you're going to have color and you're going to have button i'm going to make use of two and a half inches or two and a half inches so by the time i'm done sewing i have about three inches so i'll go ahead and connect this together So this is what so this is what we are going to have we'll also go ahead and mark our shoulder slope we'll go ahead and connect the lines together so for our front block basically this is what we are going to have so i'll go ahead and cut this out for the front block after cutting it out this is what is going to look like so we'll go ahead and transfer this to our fabric note that you can mark this directly on the fabric but because i because the i'm using like a colored fabric and a lot of colors are going on that is why i decided to mark it on paper first so that you guys can see it clearly right using this colored african prints and african prints are available and that is the reason why i had to mark it first on paper so that you guys can see it clearly so it has a lot of colors going on so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two i went ahead to fold my fabric into two and i placed my back block okay so for the back block we are going to have like a single piece for the back block and this is what it looks like i place this folded edge on where we have the folded form of fabric so I've go ahead and cut this out. Cutting it out, we have one single piece for our back block. We'll go ahead and set this aside. So I folded my fabric into two and this is the front block. So I'll go ahead and place my front block this way and I'll cut it out. After cutting this out, we have two pieces for the front block we have two pieces for the front block and don't forget to also notch where you have your four inches so that when you want to fix in your button you know where you will start from so for the back for the front block we have two pieces go ahead and set this aside so the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and fold your fabric into four this is for your sleeve fold your fabric into four now for our sleeve length we go ahead and mark 14 inches for our sleeve length and we mark eight inches for our round sleeve this is why we have eight inches so you just go ahead and get your curve and don't forget to notch this part for your sleeve so, so you go ahead and fold it this way you have like a tiny fold then you also fold it again into two so once you've done that you go ahead and stitch this all the way down after that i'll show you guys what next and ahead to fold the front block and we've aimed the neckline the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and join the shoulders together and we stitch the shoulders after that we are going to take 
after that we are going to take our sleeve which is just like a basic sleeve we'll go ahead and stitch this sleeve to the arm this way so we go ahead and stitch that once we are done with that i'll show you guys what next we have to do let's to stitch our shoulders and we're fixing our sleeve so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and use our round sleeve our bust measurements hip measurements and we'll go ahead and couple this up so the only thing we are going to have opened is the front right we are going to have the front the front is going to be opened this way so after stitching this all the way down i'll show you guys how to fix in your collar into the neckline stitching it now we have like a complete piece we are going to go ahead and measure what we have on the neckline and that is going to determine what we are going to use for our collar so we'll go ahead and measure this this way starting from this front block take your measurements round so you place your tape measure this way go ahead and measure this try to measure it at least two times to be sure that you have like a very accurate measurement so once i'm done with that i have about 25 and a half inches so that's what i have for my neckline i'll go ahead and set this aside measured 25 and a half inches so we went ahead to this is just like a long piece of fabric and i added two inches for our sewing allowance and we have 27 inches for the wideness of our collar we have seven inches that's like eight inches by the time we are done we have four inches so we go ahead and fold it this way now for the tip of the collar it depends on the shape you want it to be so you just go ahead and so this is the tip of the collar you just go ahead and you slant it this way okay so you also do the same for the second one so you can join the two together this way join it together then you go ahead and cut this out so that we can have that shape now for our color also i went ahead to iron our paper stay just to give it like a form of structure and i'm going to go ahead so this is what we have so you can see the shape of the color coming out already so the first thing we'll go ahead is to go ahead and stitch this part so that we can have a closed edge so once you are done stitching it you take one part of your collar and you fix it this way and then you go ahead and you stitch it all the way round you stitch it all the way round after stitching it this is what you are going to have so by the time you stitch it up you are going to have this so what you are just going to do is this is what you have you go ahead and fold it into two and then you stitch this part so by the time you stitch this you are going to have this right now we've gone ahead to stitch this part to the upper to our neckline the best way for you to get this is to go ahead and press this other side down so that it can just lay well okay without you having to like um use your hands to get that so by the time you press it down this is what you are going to have by the time you press it down this is what you are going to have because you've gone ahead to press down a, like half inch of the collar so it's very easy for you to stitch it this way so you just go ahead and follow the lines and then you stitch it you can see our collar is ready and it can be folded like this it can be folded like this okay and our collar is ready so once we are done with that the next thing we have to do now is to go ahead and fixing our buttons in the front part of our shirt dress so we'll go ahead and fixing our buttons and i'll show you guys what our shirt dress looks like 
so guys this is what this is what so guys this is what you are going to have for the color you can see it's actually very easy and you can see the shape we got at this edge so this is what you have this is the back and this is what you have at the back and this is what you have at the front and you can also like go ahead and press it this way so that you can have like a folded color okay so now 